so. <laughs> Why do I always start these videos with so? so. <laughs> okay, so I just broke my ankle. <laughs> I'm here with my brother Steve. Okay. In the Brecon Beacons in Wales. And uh, he's found a route, a path in the Brecon Beacons where we take in four peaks and four crash sites by all accounts, um, plane crashes. I'm guessing like a uh, military style training things. It's renowned for it up here in Wales. They're all easy jet. <laughs> You're a t aren't you? <laughs> it's like I'll just be sued. <laughs> and we've got a 15 kilometer walk. It's about nine miles or so. Uh, and we're going to take in four peaks and four crash sites. I think they're um, World War II sort of training planes and things like that, but uh, they do a lot of training up here and it's kind of renowned for people crashing planes into things. <laughs> yes, I don't know why, but uh, yeah, so it's a cold, cold, cold day, but it's nice and sunny, so I'm happy. Waterfalls everywhere. I decided not to wear my boots today, so I'm wearing trainers. But uh, I think that might have been the wrong choice because it's very, very, very muddy. We have the hot tent with us for this evening, so I'll be able to dry everything out. So our first peak is uh, called Fan Heer, H-I-R. I don't know if that's how it's pronounced. Even though I'm Welsh, I can't speak Welsh. Was Welsh. Was Welsh. <laughs> okay, yeah, so I do live in England, but I still think I'm Welsh. When they win at rugby, I'm Welsh. When they lose, I'm, no, I'm always Welsh. Right, less nonsense. So yes, our first peak is Fan here, and uh, it's 750 meters or so. We're on our way up there now. Hopefully, these uh, crash sites are gonna be marked, but I'm not sure that they are. So the chances of us finding them may be low. But it doesn't really matter. The sun's out and it's starting to warm up a little bit, so that's good. Tarn? I can't remember, I'm gonna look it up. Flin Flin y Fan Fower. Flin y Fan Fower. Flin y Fan Fower and I don't care. <laughs> yeah. Right now <laughs> we're gonna go for a swim. So uh are yeah. you ready? Yeah. <laughs> no. What is it? Negative two? Negative three? It's yeah, it's cold. But now we gotta go up this thing. What was it called? Mountain. Fan mountain. <laughs> Fan here. one <laughs> if you could hear this van here we've done it and now we're gonna go somewhere else and then go up that one which is the next peak it's really windy but uh yes yeah, so clear you can see for miles to the edge. <laughs> I'm going this side. Oh, 
<laughs> she didn't like that. No. <laughs> oh, Come on, fuck. you can do. <laughs> you can do it. Why did you kick that little dog? <laughs> 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 Time for a coffee in a minute anyway, isn't it? How graceful was that? Oh yeah, just keep going now. I'll just pirouette at the end of it. This is way steeper than it looks. I nearly fell then. What? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to put this away and get down. But uh, that could be the crash site. Let's see. It's a shame I haven't got the information that tells us what it is. But I, uh, I'll try and look it up when I get home. Maybe put some information up on the screen. That's if I'm a good YouTuber. <laughs> wow. This is crazy. Look at it. Oh my god, that's like the. Is that from the jet engine? Look at that. It is, isn't it? What that is. Wow. Wow. Well, there we go. Crash site number one. I'll be honest, I didn't think I was going to find anything. Yeah, I'm going to try and find out what the circumstances behind it were, but I suspect people died because there's three crosses in the ground, so... Very interesting. Should we carry on? Yep. Try and find somewhere out of the wind to make a coffee. Yeah. Well, I just sank <laughs> to my knees. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. Which was fun. Steve thought he was going to have to pull me out. Well, I managed to get out. Yeah. Or were you just going to leave me? For a bit, anyway. Teach me a lesson. That's what you get for walking. Basically, I walked into a river. Uh, in disguise. A river in disguise, yeah. So hopefully that's going to dry out. These are zip-off trousers, so I could take the legs off and they're just like shorts, so let's see how we get on. We're well off the path. I think we'll shortly back on it. Fan Brichainog. I'm guessing that's how it's pronounced. This is our second peak. This is the same um, lake as earlier, look. See where we are now, do you? Right, we're gonna go and do a coffee. Cowboy coffee again. You can see that my legs are soaking and there's steam coming off them. And it started snowing again. <laughs> Didn't expect that. But this is a good place to come to make a coffee. It's the only windless place in the whole of Wales at the moment, I think. I'll give that a couple of minutes and then drink it. <laughs> what else? Cheese and onion. Nice. Have you had some? Yeah. Are these mine? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> You've got coffee grounds. <laughs> Yeah, the cowboy coffee didn't work as well as usual. <laughs> I didn't you wonder why I quit on the coffee? Yeah, you, you can. Is it no good? <laughs> no. I can so drink. tip it all you want. <laughs> I'm not getting any. Sorry, bro. Don't let it happen again. More coffee for me. Freezing. <laughs> Yeah. 
that's the crew. 5th of September 1943. Oh yeah. like the impact crater. Right now we have one more climb and I think there's two peaks on the same climb but uh, yeah we've just got to go up over this now and that's the last one. I don't know if you can see, but we're on the trail, but this is what it is. And this has been the whole walk near enough. Still, I'm enjoying it. How are you finding it? Good, it's brutal, but it's good fun. Brutal, but good. Yeah. Yeah. Right, let's get it done. It's getting worse. Again. <sighs> Wild horses. Couldn't drag me away. My God. <laughs> this is hard going. When we ride one of them up. Yeah. Right. You take Bro. the little one. Bro. <laughs> Bro. Bro. <laughs> That's cold, isn't it? Bru. <laughs> Bru cloud. Yeah, Bru cloud. Whoa. Right. <laughs> I'm going to focus on walking. So we're at the top of the final peak, which means I think we've missed two of the crash sites. Well, if I find it, I'll obviously show you. Or is a memorial here? But um, maybe this one doesn't have any wreckage. You can see the van down there. I'm guessing we missed one crash site then. No idea where that was. Well, we found three out of four. And it's been an epic walk, I've really enjoyed it. Hard, but really enjoyable. Now, when we get back to the van, we're going to head off to a campsite, which is in a pub garden, which is uh, awesome. <laughs> so we're going to get a beer and uh, we've got the hot tent and we bought some uh, belly pork and black pudding and ciabatta and some barbecue sauce. So that is going to be an awesome dinner. You might just about be able to see in the distance. There's two peaks that look exactly the same. Uh, the first and second highest in the Brecon Beacons. I think so. Yeah, so you've got um, Penny Fan, which is the highest, and Fanny Big, which is the second highest. I think you climb Fanny Big to get to Penny Fan, don't you? Well, if you're coming from that direction, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Jeez. How many asked? God. I didn't deserve that. Still here. Whew. Right. Off to the pub for a drink. And making I... everyone dizzy. Does that make you, make you dizzy? I wonder if I can like actually just talk. So that was a nice walk, I had a really nice time. And uh, now we're going to go to the pub <laughs> and have a uh, belly pork. Oh look, there's a bird up there. See that hawk, Steve? Look, up there. Yeah, circling us. Circling us. Yeah. Oh. Tent is set up over there in the corner. The pub is over there. 
<laughs> so we're going to go get a couple of beers and then come back and set up the stove and uh, do our cooking and have a couple of beers and have a nice evening. I booked the campsite at random. Bear in mind it could have been anything up to two hours away. I didn't realise the Brecon Beacons is so big. And it was eight minutes from where the car was parked. <laughs> it's actually the nearest campsite to where we were. But uh, I am lucky like that. So we're going to go over and have a couple of beers. And that was a peacock. I don't know if you heard. I wonder where they are. Cheers. Although you've already had a sip. <laughs> no manners at all. Fire's going. We're all set up. Right. This is what we got tonight. Pork belly slices and black pudding slices and uh, ciabattas somewhere. Ciabatta. Ciabatta. We got ciabattas. We got Chewbacca. Che we got che Chewbacca's, yeah. So we're going to have... <laughs> I wish I could do that. <laughs> Pork belly. I think we're going to get that on first. Mm. It says 12 to 15 minutes. The black pudding is 7 to 8 minutes. I'm just going to chuck the lot on you. Yeah. yeah. Oil. The oil is frozen. It has. The oil is frozen. Chilled, it? I didn't even know oil could do that. Oh my god, this is hot. We probably didn't even need oil. Like, as if belly pork hasn't got enough fat. <laughs> One, two. It's not really sandwich material, is it? But I want it. Mm. I want it, so yeah. that's what we're adding. Let's break the mold. Yeah. We're going to cook that for about, I don't know, five minutes. And then get the black pudding in. Yep. I better cut these ciabattas. I'll do that. Yeah? Excellent. So you're going to do something. I'm on ciabatta duty. Ciabatta duty. I, I know. You, I'll give you a beer. Yeah. You gave me a beer, you did. Pulling my weight. But I wonder how, we'll see. I'm going to learn how pork belly does in a sandwich. My instinct is, is do you know when you eat bacon sandwiches and you take a bite and then you just pull out a whole strip of bacon that's hanging through your mouth like a big tongue. Yeah. It's going to be like a bigger tongue bacon sandwich. That's, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. I like but then you eat the bacon all in one go. Mm. And then you're left with just bread. That's yeah. after. <laughs> that's, I think that's a half full attitude. I'm quite impressed. I am impressed. Right, we'll come back when this is cooked a bit more. So, check out the pork belly. Isn't that just the greatest thing you've ever seen in your life? That's looking nice and crispy now, isn't it? I think I'm going to push it to the side and get some of this, um... Here we are. Black pudding. Black pudding. I tell you what, well, let's stack it. Or maybe stack it up, yeah. Stack yeah. it. Same idea, similar Yeah. Build a wall of pork. That is a lot of pork in there, isn't it? Yeah, this is a ridiculous amount of food. Pork and blood. But we've worked, yeah, pork and blood. <laughs> but we've done a lot of walking, haven't we? We deserve it. What are we drinking? Camden Pale Ale. This is nice. Right, I think it's time to plate up. Where's my dinner? Yeah, it's time, isn't it? It's time. Oh. So you've got them, and then you've got one, two of these. What are you going to do? Smash it all up? Yeah. I'm just going to rub it all together. So you should. And a bit of barbecue nice. sauce. Look at that. There we go. Yeah. Dinner. Pretty good. Dinner for kings. Did you want a knife or a fork? No. No? Mm, I got that. I'm just going to smash it in my face. <laughs> it failed as a sandwich, didn't it? Yeah. So now we've got to eat it with a knife and fork. I'm going to do it. This. Deconstruct it. There, yeah, uh, going for him. And a bit of that. Mm. And then. Is it heaven? That's good shit. <laughs> well, it's time for me to eat. Mine doesn't look quite as uh, attractive. No, we're not. I haven't got barbecue sauce on it. Oh yeah, try oh, some. I don't really like it. Do I? Why no. did we buy it then? Because you wanted it. I'm not fussed. I don't like 
You don't like barbecue sauce? Not really, jeez. <laughs> These things can happen, aren't they? Yeah, it needed some sort of sauce, but like, my battery's going to run out, so I'm going to eat mine. Bye. We need to get to know each other better. <laughs> we do, yeah. Ah! Oh! <laughs> do you see that? No. Slipped off. Right. Dinner was awesome. Steve is now sampling Caroline's homemade flapjacks. Mm. That's good. Yeah, but you wouldn't say they're hideous, would you? No, I mean, I was genuine. I'm genuine. I tell you, I'll turn it away slightly. If you want to spit them out, you do it now. <coughs> so what do you think? Mmm. <laughs> oh, this battery is really dead. I have to do this. If you see me doing this, it's because I've got varifocals. I do it all the time, have you noticed? Yeah. Yeah. Whenever I get close to the camera, I'm like that. Like as if I'm better than everyone. <laughs> But it's not. It's because I can't see the screen. They used to do that before you had very far. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up for half past eight. Ooh. I think it's time to settle in for bed. So, I don't know, we might have another beer or two and then go to bed. And tomorrow morning, we noticed on the way in that there's, what's it called, Henry... Henry. Henry Falls. Yeah which is here in the Brecon Beacons, and that was the waterfall used in the film The Dark Knight Rises, Batman, obviously. Oh, it's the Batcave. It's the Batcave. That's the waterfall they fly through to get to the, the Batcave. Hmm. So we've got to go there tomorrow. It's only down the road, so we're going to go and have a look at that. And that's, uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do tomorrow. So not only do you get crash sites and mountains, you get Batcaves. <laughs> but that's for people that are watching this far into the video, which is probably mum. <laughs> <laughs> and um, me yeah a couple of other people <laughs> but not many so that's your wow. special special reward for your loyalty yeah and so uh, anyone that does this comment down below to prove <laughs> <laughs> you watch this far in so it's probably gonna be an early start for us and then we're gonna go to the waterfall back cave but we probably won't go into the back cave because Why not? what we could yeah, but he doesn't like it, does he? Yeah, but his back's broken. Is it? Well, it is in that film. Is it? Yeah. You can do anything Spoiler. You want to, can you? Spo he breaks his back in the film. I don't... Has he... Spoiler. Are you making this up? Bane breaks his back. I and haven't seen it. And then he him in a pit, I think it's in Peru, so he's not in the back cave, but... Yeah. Doesn't matter, he's in Peru, so you can do what you want in the back cave. We're going no, we're going to the, we're gonna go to the back cave? Mm. What, what can we do there? Smack Robin around. Just smack... <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Done. Problem set. Good job no one watches this far. Isn't it is, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Right, well, we're going to go to bed, so good night. Yes. <laughs> Sayonara. People tell me I don't smile enough, so good night. <laughs> smile. There you go. Night. Morning. It's a cold morning, but we're warm in here. We've got the hot tent on. The hot tent on? The stove on. <laughs> and we're gonna do coffee, and then we're gonna do pancakes, and then we're gonna do back cave, yeah? It sounds like a typical morning, doesn't it? Coffee, pancakes, back cave. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's about all I got in me right now, so I'll see you in a bit. Hmm, <laughs> oh, a bit more, maybe? There we are. All right. Oh, wow. wow. What about the blueberries? No, we put them on, on after. Apply the syrup. Did you? <laughs> mm. I'll grab a couple of blueberries. There might be a bit of the plastic coating that's burned off the pan in there, so it might taste <laughs> a little acrylic -y. That's really good. Really good. Mm. Here we are. Just done the bank heist. Now we're making our getaway. <laughs> Keep it at this speed and we'll be in Hawaii by sundown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're just basically filming the steering wheel. This no, I got you in there as well. Oh, I got Sh you in. Show us whales. Oh, sh whales. Yeah. <laughs> whales, everyone. Nobody wants to see me in a steering wheel. Whales. Waterfall. Squid. Squid. 
I was going to say, when everyone goes here, they go, it's good. There you go, Henry Falls, secret location of the Bat Cave. Right, we're done. That was the falls, that was really good. I'd recommend that to anyone. It's a bit of a trek down and a trek back up, but you can do it, I believe in you. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna go home now, and uh, yeah, I think that's it. Can't think of anything else to say. So Maybe a little, little song? A song? I put, you, I put you two on the spot, didn't I? So uh, yeah, we're going to go now. I'm going to drop you home and then I'm going to go and see my mum. And then I'm going to drive all the way back to Ipswich tonight, which is uh, unpleasant to say the least. But that's that. We're done. Thanks for watching and I'll see you. No, I might see you again. Yeah, so might I. So might he. <laughs> <laughs>